starting at the superior glenoid neck, the superior glenohumeral ligament is intimately associated with the supraspinatus tendon. Superior capsular reconstruction starts with anchors placed about a centimeter medial to the articular margin at the superior glenoid. Here the first anchor is placed in the posterior superior quadrant and we retrieve one limb from the anterolateral portal. Now the second anchor is placed anteriorly and we prefer to place this in a transcoracoid fashion. Here the all suture anchor can be seen being deployed at the inferior aspect of the coracoid. One limb of this anchor is also retrieved through the anterolateral cannula. Incidentally, the gray cannula is through a modified supramedial portal which makes access to this area much easier. Now we measure the dimensions for the superior capsular reconstruction and transfer these to the graft on the back table. Once the graft is cut to these dimensions, these sutures are weaved through the medial aspect of the graft and the graft is then delivered arthroscopically. The remaining limbs are tied medially fixing the medial aspect of the graft. Now we prefer to tension the posterior aspect of the graft first and here we have a preliminary mark for appropriate tension of the graft and we'll place the medial row anchor initially A biocomposite anchor is placed. And these sutures are shuttled through the graft in the appropriate position. We utilize the sliding sutures to fix the position of the graft and then use these to repair the rotator cuff up to its anatomic position to the graft. Side to side sutures are also used to repair the rotator cuff to the posterior aspect of the graft. Now we move ahead with tensioning the anterior aspect of the graft. Another biocomposite anchor is placed and tied and now the remaining sutures are placed in a speed bridge configuration with two further anchors laterally beyond the footprint. The completed construct shows excellent restoration of tension for the superior glenohumeral ligament and repair of the posterior rotator cuff. Incidentally, the subscapularis had been repaired prior to undertaking the superior capsular reconstruction. You can learn more at theshouldercenter.com.